Okay, guys. Let's see where we were. Okay. Well, we've not done much, as you can see. Now, we've got this up, but this website is lonely right over here. It's lonely. Let's change that. Now, this is more of a rundown than a tutorial. I'll be having this code on my video description. I'll be running both of them at the same two and three at the same time. Now I'll be having the this um code actually in the um description below. So don't worry about that because it's more of a rundown how to do this. And plus I can't be asked really retyping all of this. You guys can believe that. Look at this. Yeah. It's old code. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I did this a long time ago, don't blame me. Uh, man, I was bad at organizing. <laughs> what is the pasting? I don't know. Okay, then, I'll, like I said, it's just a rundown how to use this code. Because a lot of people don't know how to use tables. As you can see, this actually is a table, slash ta um, the, the type of table. Now, this will have a border of 5. I'd, you'll see what it means now. Refresh. It now has this. It has a border of five, so five width. I think it's five pixels. So you can see it one pixel like that. Width is fifty percent, which is I think the percentage of the hip halfway inside the um thing here. It's fifty percent. Then it is cell padding, which is four. And okay. Sorry about that. Cell padding is I'll be back guys. Sorry about that. The sky is at my door. Okay, cell padding, I think that was. Yeah, cell padding is four. Um, the best way I can explain is like, um, I don't know how to explain that actually. Yeah, um, dang it, <laughs> I don't know. So I thought I would know how to explain it, but um, cell spacing is just, um, yeah, yeah those two, I, I don't know how to explain these last two. I'm sorry, guys, but I just don't know how to explain, explain these two. You can explain around, but for instance, if I put five here, then refresh nothing much happened that's why I don't know what the heck it does yeah okay let's count on this um call span of 2 which is the uh, columns now uh, table title um, test data table now this it's why I can refresh and it's not nice and neat right over here now you see it's not much, it's only like two of these it's, it doesn't look that nice I have named the data because dots are here now I'll leave column A and column B is like that which is just over here just change that to whatever you want and also um, it's kind of funny having on that corner there so I'm just align this you can type in these things wherever you need, wherever you want actually. And center. Now it should be nicely in the center. There we go. Um, it finds the width between this side and this side and finds the exact center for. Like for instance, this is the center here. Right. That's part of. This is one another side. So that's part of the one side and the other side. Here is the other side. If you guys don't understand that, just ignore what I said there. <laughs> um. Now, we want to know how to find, to get more of these, right? It's very simple, you don't need to add much code. Just get the, and this thing, you can copy and paste this all the time. I right? can't do that again, and that again. So now it's a, uh, uh, one, two, three, four, 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 five, and six. Now if I go here, oh. Uh, this has another one of three, four, five, and six. But if you want another row here or another two rows, just type in over here. I'm um, to add another two rows, so let's go to four. So okay, let me explain this. One row has that only, but then that see, um, it's only going up to the one row. Which is how I can explain it. So if you want to have this nasty, make that four, and then you'll be able to 
replace this again. So it is. Oh, this doesn't look that nice again. So it's column A, B, C, and I'll get last. And D. Now we have that. Now we can also refresh. I forgot to save it. It has to be safe if you can do anything. Okay, see that's stayed the same because it doesn't need doesn't need to change or anything. Or something or been going like that for a while. Now let's get the these two columns in. And see it's not that nice because it's just there. It doesn't have any extra stuff to it. I, you, most people don't know how to actually do this. I it's very easy, trust me guys. Um just you can just take this. So I ended off with six, let's go for seven and eight. Go for nine that's not nine that that's nine and ten and eleven and twelve. Voila. Save it and refresh and voila. We now have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve by three. Uh, four by three, sorry. Three by four. Anything you want. Now I don't want this the same colour as a background because you can see it doesn't look that nice, doesn't it's not that eye catching, right? Now I open a colour picker with a set sort of number here. That might be the exact same number as the uh, uh, other one. This one. Okay, never mind then. Now on top on top guitar gear of the table. Let's type in BG color again with the hashtag and control V. Now we have the BG color and now let's refresh this. And voila! Now it's a bit more eye catching. Think about it. Now we can go back. Like you can click back or contact us. Think about it. Like contact, contact us. Uh, different details, charts, whatever you want to put the button and click that and then voila! Uh, these buttons I just made quickly in Paint, not, not even Paint.net, just Paint. It was very quickly, nothing much to it, guys. Just a, a solid background with text on it. That's all I did. Now, this is now done. We can now also add a bit of a footer. So let's copy this footer here. So I give it that bit of depth. See, this doesn't look like it was going on forever. Yeah. Let's add the shot here. Let's also do that and tab that in. Now, if we do this, it's right down here. We don't want it there. So, slash br. Let's copy this and do it a couple times. That works. Well, voilà, now it's done here. Let's do about two or three more times. How's that look? One more time. And that should be scraping the bottom, yes. Now it's scraping the bottom and now you see this has popped up. It's now starting to go on the bottom there. But it doesn't have that. The scroll bar will be inserted automatically so don't have to worry about that guys. Um, but yeah, it's another tutorial. 8 minutes, say about 10 minutes each episode. You you know what I mean by each video of the series, each part, one part we publish. So now we have this right here. We have this over here. We can also move that down there. Let's do that quickly. So oh, I I don't like how I did that. Okay, let's try this. How does it look? Almost there, guys. That's value. How does that look? Okay, almost. One, two, three. Okay, that's way too far. See, it's now, we can now scroll up and down. Let's now just take one of these away. Should just be enough. There we go. Now we have this and uh, both of them. And I also, if you hover over here, it will show you the um, HTML document on the bottom there, right down here where the footer is. 
it's showing the different documents it will go to contact index contact index and yeah well this is episode it's I can end with a few shot here but um yeah yeah I think this is it's the last episode actually part th four three th four part four last episode and yeah last part now guys if you want anything any help at all please come to me and I'll gladly help you okay please I am not here to bite not here to bark I have not done something I don't I wanted to do which is just with somewhere else but yeah let's really do this now in the in index type in this it's P now P is a paragraph it's P so yeah, I know to end this now with this you can type in a line equals center now you can do that and align to center or you can use a label which will make it first here a label nothing much to it but it makes a label I think you can even do a BG color to okay, look that's not what I want to do take this no it doesn't have background color unfortunately hey like I said it's always just testing around seeing what works but now we have this we can either do a label command do the same thing so let's do a label on here label it's okay guys please tell me where in the world they spell a label like that a line equals center because like where I live we don't spell a label like that we actually spell it uh, so yeah how I spell it label that's how we spell it that's how I prefer it because it's yeah you know now we do the same thing we did we did the exact same thing you can't align it though because it's not normal now more as a label uh, yeah um so that's the label command uh, I believe that this one you can do the pg color pg color hashtag don't know if it will work or not no it doesn't so like I said on countless occasions now always try and see what's new what works but yeah guys you guys now know about the paragraph and label command about the breaks about the headers and the the heading and the um, whatever that thing is called I can't remember still about hyperlink about images about paragraphs and labels I think I said that already about the head stuff and title and about tables now and the th and tr thing and td it's just there you know um th is like the heading table heading um I don't know what these thing abbreviations are so don't ask me about that I'll look for them for you, but then yeah. You guys also know about footers. Yeah. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this how to series. And hope you guys enjoy. See you guys.